So I was working at a summer camp again this summer, and for the first time in a long time, I just didn't have any money like at all. When I got a paycheck, I immediately went right through it. I also bought a lot of food, which is ironic because I've been losing weight. I couldn't buy any video games is my point. That left me playing two games for the majority of this summer. Those two games were Rocket League and The Last of Us. Rocket League, I love. It satisfies my need to just jump into a quick game and get invested in something in a short time span. It's very competitive, but it's also fun and not frustrating unless it's super laggy. The physics make sense, the controls make sense, and I'd like to believe I'm pretty damn good at the game. You know, when I'm not missing open shots and shit. But it's fun, it's faster paced than Call of Duty, it's a lot quicker to get involved in, and it does the same thing that Naruto Storm did for me, because those matches were also really short. With the one key difference being that Rocket League actually fucking works. What the- WHAT?! I wasn't even in a match! As I said, the other game I was playing was The Last of Us. Now, when The Last of Us first came out, I remember noting to myself that the gameplay wasn't anything groundbreaking or, or crazy. Um, it wasn't over the top like Uncharted. They just took the stealth elements from Uncharted, made them a little deeper, and had a few like things here and there that other games have had. Crafting, etc., etc. I think given how great of a game The Last of Us turned out to be, it's easy to forget how sort of uh, basic and bare bones the actual gameplay was. A lot of the game is set up as a framework for telling this incredible immersive story um, in this very dire and uh, derelict world. So I decided to play through the HD re-release again. Um, the first time I played through the HD re-release, I did it on grounded mode, which is the hardest difficulty available in the game. I have been getting so irredeemably pissed off at this game in ways that I don't remember doing in the past. Random aspects of this game simply don't work. Things like when I'm at the edge of some kind of drop and an enemy literally hovers over thin air and gets at me at an angle that is physically impossible. So what I did was I just uh, went through the game, went to a few parts that I got unreasonably angry at, and we're going to talk about those parts. That's, that's all we're going to do. You. This part with the sniper frustrates me, and it's not necessarily because the sniper is there, because that's the whole gimmick, right? It's because this part sets itself up as a stealth section, but the game doesn't let you be stealthy. Such as, like, these instances where they see me and I just have no idea how. The game is supposed to be a stealth game, but it sometimes doesn't relay the information necessary to let you know that you've done stealth wrong or that stealth isn't possible in this certain circumstance. In this instance, I have no idea who saw me or how they saw me. And then there are instances like this where I go for a grab and it just doesn't go through. In this instance, it's a little harder to see exactly why that is. It could have been my fault. But there are some instances in the game where it's totally not your fault if it doesn't go through. Sometimes your AI partner will literally run in your way when you go for a grab and make you too far away to actually complete the grab and therefore cancel it, which is some bullshit. There are other instances where you're around a corner or hiding behind something, and because there's no grab around the corner button like there are in some other stealth games, you have to like awkwardly shimmy to the end of the thing you're hiding behind and like poke yourself out a little bit and then press the triangle button and hope that your grab goes through. And it won't if they see you poking yourself out before you grab them, which is about half of the time because they're literally standing right in front of you. And then there's this part of the game that really fucking annoys me. It's in the hotel when the elevator crashes and you have to, uh, you're separated from Ellie and you have to get through the, the hotel by yourself for a little bit. There's this part where it's like very set up to be a horror game and a stealth horror game. The game wants you to get through it in a very specific way, but without telling you what way that is. And it just comes across as the game punishing you for not being psychic. There's a generator in one of the rooms. You can look around all over the place. I mean, literally the entire area. There are absolutely no monsters. You don't, you don't hear them, you don't see them, you don't see a trace of any monsters. 
The moment you interact with this generator and press the interaction button for the minigame, a clicker will spawn literally right behind you and kill you before you can cancel out of the animation. Every time. Like, that's just bad game design. And I, I, I hate saying that in a game as good as The Last of Us, because I feel like it is really good. But that's just bad game design. So what the game expects you to do is to go upstairs and get a key card first, which spawns a wave of runners. And then after you take out the runners, you go downstairs and activate the generator, which allows you the chance to get out of the area. But I have a problem with the wave of runners as well. These runners seem to know immediately upon spawning where exactly you are. You can tell it's an AI bug because here I get the key card and go right into the bathroom and hide there. They simultaneously know exactly where I am but seem unable with their messed up tracking to get to me. So three different runners run into this bathroom, hump a stall for a few seconds, and then run out in the opposite direction. And then finally, when I haven't moved or anything, one of them gets me because it always knew where I was. It just for some reason couldn't get me. But like, if I'm fighting with the game's like shitty AI just to get through a part, that's that's like not fun. It's not fun and it's a flaw with the game design. Speaking of fighting with the game's shitty AI, this part I had to redo a couple of times. Um, not really through any fault of the game, I just really don't re like this particular arena. But I did realize that there's a way you can cheese the AI here and get the enemy stuck in place. So if you kill this guy and then you run over to the area quickly where the next wave of hunters is about to spawn, uh, what will happen is the hunters who spawn will be stuck in place. Their AI will still be working, but they won't be moving. They'll just be standing in one place as if they're um, T-posing it up for you to like check them out in a, a character model viewer or something. I just found it funny. Um, cause I, I figured this out completely by accident while I was playing through grounded mode and it's, it's consistent enough that I was able to replicate it twice or three times. Oh, and then there's this part. Um, I used to think when I was first playing through the game that the parts with the clickers were the more interesting parts of the game because they like break up the monotony of just dealing with human opponents. But now I realize sometimes the parts with the clickers, like the last part I mentioned, are just the most broken. Here with Sam, I have two issues. The first issue is that it seems like no matter what I do, this one runner will always know where I am. This particular monster goes along its track uh, like it's supposed to, completely oblivious to my very presence and existence. Every time I get within a certain distance of it, it will immediately become aware of where I am, apparently no matter how slowly I move toward it. And I move really slowly. Sometimes it takes me like three minutes just to get close enough to it to actually do anything. With the way that the game works, it's hard to tell exactly what's triggering what. So I don't know there is a possibility that I'm doing something wrong here, but I think it's an issue with the AI. We've already proven in the past that the game has AI issues, and this is halfway through the game, so I think I know how to sneak past a runner at this point, especially since I've beaten grounded mode in the past. What is it about this one particular fucking runner that makes it impossible for me to get close to? I ended up having to get through this part without even interacting with this Jesus Christ. It's runner. And instead going in the complete opposite direction. Is this the game punishing me for something? I don't know. But that's not the only issue with this part. On occasion, it is possible for AI characters like Sam to run across your path in the most annoying ways because you're trying to be stealthy and get from one place to another as quickly and quietly as possible. And they will just run right in your path consistently. But in this particular instance, what happens is I'm squatted behind a wall waiting for this motherfucker, say clicker again, or pass by. I'm going to press the triangle button and grab it before it can notice me. What Sam does here is consistently, 
he runs into the bitch and bumps it closer to me before I can execute my grab. In this instance, I got mad because I did my grab, but apparently because Sam bumped into the cunt and it bumped it into me, it alerted every other monster in the area bef just before I grabbed it. So now I'm here doing a loud kill instead of a stealth kill like I'm supposed to and like is very possible because I've done it before just because my AI companion got in the way. Like they're just really egregious flaws with the game. It's a good game and it's a good game, but sometimes you got to shit on the ones you love. Okay, that didn't come out right. There have been times with like Uncharted 4 where I got really mad at things like this, such as enemies having infinite ammo on the hardest difficulty. I remember this one particular part of Uncharted 4 where I was hanging from a cliff and this one enemy would spawn, would throw an infinite number of grenades with like pixel perfect accuracy to the exact spot that I was hanging from over and over and over again. And all the enemies were at least 20 feet in front of me, like across this crevice that I had to jump. There's things like that that I think Naughty Dog really need to figure out in terms of their internal game design, because their AI can sometimes be really fucking annoying and really unfair, especially on harder difficulties. Anyway, I've been talking for too long. I think the moral of the story is The Last of Us Part Two needs to have better AI. It needs to telegraph things better in order to be a better gameplay experience. We know the story's gonna be great. Let's make the gameplay something we can enjoy and not get frustrated with. I think that's a good positive message to end the video on. Yeah.